My name is Mark Demirov and I am infotherapist. You can ask me who is infotherapist. Infotherapist is a person who influences the person's disease using neurotechnology. For example, a person who does hypnosis on another person can also be called infotherapist. And explaining the principles of infotherapy, I have to tell you a little bit about the principles of work of our nervous system. Our nervous system is made to interact with information. You can store it, you can exchange it, you can rewind it, you can replace it. Your nervous system is a perfect mechanism for it. And from the perspective of neurophysiology, every single biological process inside our body, it's a very complex, a very complex and difficult combination of neurons inside your nervous system. And there is no exclusion for negative processes that you have inside you. And using this technology, you can replace this negative information. You can restore the essential information. This technology was developed by Russian scientist and doctor Gennady Temnikov more than 20 years ago. Infotherapy opened many study units all around the world to teach people to share this technology with other people. Infotherapy opened the study units in Canada, United States, Israel, Russia and Serbia. The technology is based on forming and conditional reflex. We all have conditional reflexes and our brain is automatically creating such conditional reflexes. For example, if I'm saying the word lemon this will be name or the code for your conditional reflex that is connected with your digestive system. And using infotherapy, you can influence the processes through conditional reflexes. So every single aspect in our life that we experienced will be programmed by our brain and stored. And there is no exclusion for human diseases and sicknesses. The main principle of neurophysiology is a principle of forming those conditional reflexes. As I already said, our nervous system is designed to interact with information. And we exchange this information between us. We exchange this biological information between us. We trigger different conditional reflexes to each other. And when we exchange this negative biological information, it triggering negative biological processes inside our body. You can think about neurophysiology as a software for our body. The principles of regulating the processes inside the body. So changing just information, changing just the software, we can influence the negative biological process inside the body. And people who 
learned this technology achieved remarkable results. People managed to get rid of tumors and other very, very serious diseases using just infotherapy. Dr. Temnikov opened many study units all around the world to share this technology and to teach this technology so people can help themselves and help people around them. From my experience of work, my patients found only one disadvantage in infotherapy. Using only infotherapy, you cannot fully restore the function or the process. Restoring the information, biological information inside our nervous system was not quite enough. When the person has a negative biological program inside the nervous system, it always reflects on the way we move or interact with objects around us. It reflects on the way we use our muscular system. And the negative biological process causes the distortions on our moving patterns. This inability leads to damaging a muscle tissue. Negative program is stored by your body. It's stored by your movements. It's stored by your nervous system. And that's why we have to include to the process of infotherapy. We have to include the mechanical influence on a patient. And to fully restore the biological process or the function, we have to include the myofascial release treatment. Only mechanically working on the points of damaged muscle tissue, we can fully recover the function or biological process. And we are now using the most advanced way of influencing the negative biological information.